Hello everyone. Today's topic is about knowing your element of reincarnation. Hmm? Because when practicing African spirituality, when practicing ancient African spirituality, one of the most frequent questions you'll be asked is, what is your element? <laughs> and you'll be confused. Element? What is element? What is my element? Some people always get so confused in the beginning. And why a lot of people are so curious to know their element? Because we all want to know where we reincarnated from to it. You know, your element of reincarnation is where you reincarnated to. Where reincarnated to earth from. Where you used to live mm, before you came to earth. Mm? Where your soul, your higher self still, you know, lives. Yeah, because your higher self is, you know, with you. Because your higher self is always reincarnating, never dies. So it comes from somewhere. Its root is from somewhere. Your energy. Mm? Your spirit comes from somewhere. Mm? So because we are all elemental beings, we are all elemental beings. We are all spirit inside a body. Our body mm? is temporary, but our spirit lives forever and they come from somewhere. Even the creator gods are elemental beings. Mm? The creator god, the supreme gods, they are elemental beings and they all belong to different dimensions. Mm? And each of the creator gods have their aspects what they you know what they do for us human beings because we all have the essence of our of all the past creator god is in us okay so yeah it's important for you to know your element of reincarnation if you don't already know that yeah the four primary elements we have four primary elements that we use we human use Mm? Because that is where most of us reincarnates from. Yeah. So the number one, the first primary element is fire. Fire element. That means that if you come from fire element, it means that um, your, your spirit comes from there. Your spirit, you know, lives. <laughs> I don't even know how to define it. Comes from that element. You have family there. That is where you, you come from. Mm -hmm. And so most of your friends, your spiritual helpers will come from that, that uh, fire element also. Some people used to confuse the fire with the sun. Sun and fire are not the same. They are interconnected to each other, but they are not the same. Mm -hmm. The sun can create fire, but fire cannot create sun. Mother Earth also have fire. <laughs> that fire element, Mother Earth have fire. That's why we have volcano. Mm -hmm. When you put two stones, two, uh, stones together and rub it, you can make, make fire. Yeah. We have fire from the earth. You know? We also have fire. Sun can make fire. So anyway, we have the fire elements. We have water elements. What is water element? That is what you hear. Water kingdom. The kingdom. <laughs> so the fire kingdom. The water kingdom. Mm -hmm. And the kingdom have different, different categories of water kingdom. Some people come from water kingdom. They reincarnated from water to earth. Mm? I myself are reincarnated from water to earth. So I come from water. Most of my friends and my spiritual friends, they all, majority of them <clears throat> are from water. Mm? The ones that I interact with, the one that came to earth with me to help me fulfill my destiny, majority of them are from water. Okay? But I have combined elements. So let me go through all the elements first before I talk about the combined elements. And then we have uh, earth elements. There are people that are reincarnated to earth from, they reincarnated from, to this earth, from earth element. This earth that we are matching is a kingdom, is a dimension that people live. Mm? Some people come from there. Mm, yeah, from earth. Yeah. So and then we have air. There are people who come from air. Air is also another dimension, a kingdom. People live there. Okay? Yeah. So the four primary elements that we, the African, African spirituality, those that practice Af African spirituality uses, are the, the fire elements, the water elements, the earth elements, and the air elements. Okay? So it's important for you to know which dimension that you come from. The easiest way for you to know which dimension that you come from is through your date of birth. And you can go through the ancient African calendar 
through Google Apps. You can download Google. Mm? You just go into Google App and then you check the element. Let me just go through. When you type Igbo calendar, because I've gone through all the African spiritualities, the tribe in different Africa to see which one is most accurate, you know, to find out your element of reincarnation. Mm? The most accurate one is the Igbo one. Because I've checked around other tribes, they will have they have their own calendar, but no one is as accurate as the Igbo one. But the Igbo one is not hundred percent accurate combined combined uh, when you compare it to divination. Hmm? Yeah. So if you go to the Igbo calendar, like now you see Igbo calendar, Igbo calendar on Google Apps. Yeah, the one I'm using is the one that they say Ogugu Ubochi Igbo calendar. So you download this Igbo calendar, you put your date of birth. Your date of birth is going to show you the elements that you come from. You know, they have the one that they have um, a K, which is fire. And then they have um, Orie, meaning uh, water. They have um, Nkwo, okay? Now, they have a four, which means et, and then Nkwo, which is E, you know? So when you, uh, when you check, you're going to be able to know. You need translation to know which one belongs to fire which one belongs to earth just pick the name that is written there you know if you come to my comments on my section in my my page i'll be able to translate it all my followers there that understand yeah this language they'll be able to tra tra translate it for you as well I'll, i hope and i pray that someday we'll be able to have the one that I have just english language that everybody will be able to understand without needing a translator to translate which elements those uh, languages belongs to okay so yeah another way for you to know your elements is for you to consult a spiritualist that have the spirit of divination that does spiritual consultation to consult your spirit your personal spirit guide that are with you 24 hours and the one that came to this world with you they know the day you came they know where you come from so these spirits will invite the spirit to speak and tell us where you come from hmm? divination is most accurate because this calendar they give you some ideas yes but they are not as accurate as divination okay and there are some of us that um, that don't know our date of birth when you don't know your date of, your date of birth you cannot use those calendar in google apps to find out your your element of reincarnation the best way is to go through divination divination will tell you you know um your elements, where you come from, where you reincarnated from, okay? Yeah, and some of us, we have combined elements. Hmm? We have primary elements and we also have combined elements. The primary one is the where we are rooted, where our, our, our spirit, our family, our blessings are mostly attached to. Hmm? Yeah, because we have our families there and many spirits that agree to accompany us to earth or to support us while we are on earth, okay? From our primary element. Because I know that some people, they always ignore their primary element. They always like to claim another, uh, another elements as their primary elements. And they don't know that their grace, their glory is stored in the main one that they reincarnated from. Other ones are additional ones, you know? Your primary element is where your, your glory is stored. Mm? Because I see that a lot of people are always saying they are water, they are from water, water. Everybody wants to attach to water and they don't want to claim where they come from. Where you come from is your primary place that, that your glory is and other ones you can tap into it to get more. Mm? If you have ancestral sprigger from other elements, okay, those ones will help you. Because in most African spiritual family, African family, we all have water, um, water deities. You know, that doesn't mean that your primary element is from water, but we are all interconnected to water. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, but in African spirituality, knowing your element is very important because we use it to do prayers for you, to we use it to do spiritual work for you. And it's good for you to know where I come from because he, in African spirituality, we encourage you to have good relationship with the, your family from elements of reincarnation, your spiritual friend from elements of reincarnation. Okay, so go and find out your your elements element is just english language in in different tribes in africa we have different names that we use for element but for english for everybody to understand this is where we are using elements okay you find out if you have combined elements because if you have combined element you also have to acknowledge those other elements 